most of us are have inner struggles, you know, with with the work. And and I don't think that I'm a uh, you know I'm a perfectionist to a certain degree, but I, I don't think I'm an overly perfectionist person because there's a lot of a lot of things that we do that I would rather you know spend another half a day on it, but we just can't. You know, we, it, the 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 kind of uh, work we do it's based on volunteerism and we have to cram everything in, into a weekend and you know we'll we'll shoot people out because they can only be here an hour so we work our schedule around what they do and and whatever performance we get is what's going to be left on the screen so i, I don't know i just i I've, you know i crave if you're a creative person you always crave to be better and better and better and that's why musicians always practice. You know, they could probably take off for a month or two and not practice and go back in and, and put on a performance that no one would even know that they were uh, were less par than than what they were before. But there to, to be creative, I think you you should have a drive of wanting to be the best you can be and have more experience of that creative drug. It is a drug that's in you because every time uh, Glenn and I do something that's um, that that goes from the process of a thought to saying print, boy, that the, the the accomplishment is just enormous. And especially when you know, I think somebody asked me one time, "What's the best part of or doing these films?" I said, "When they're finished, because that's the payoff." Uh, it's done. It's we we've accomplished the whole thing. That's our standing ovation. Is when we can we can put the last title on the closing credits, and and say upload to YouTube. That's that's our ovation right there.